What's up guys, it's Oblivion Guy, and welcome back to Pokemon Septo Conquest in the last episode. Well, actually, it's been a while since the last episode, so I'm just gonna... I started off a new game, and, you know, I nicknamed some different Pokemon different things, and I also caught a Pikachu, and I called her Jessica. For obvious reasons, if you guys don't know, then I guess you'll just stick with Jessica for now. Uh, we're gonna continue on with the um, adventure. And I'm going to be fighting some guy who kind of looks like Brock. And I think I'll put Sweet Tone up first because, well, it's easy rock gym. He was once a baron and shall I avenge my pride? He's not char- Okay, well, yeah, I'm, we're fighting Brock. Just ex-leader Brock, actually. So this battle might go by quickly. Um, I looked up back... Looking back at um, Septo Conquest, I've seen this one guy and I saw how far he got up to, and I actually did play up to a certain point. So I might surpass him, maybe, or I don't know. I know where he left off, and I know what gym he's on and stuff. But again, I don't know. I think I will. I'll continue where he left off because, uh, again, like I said before, probably the ROM hack. It's decent, it just needs a little work. Cause you know, there's some glitches and stuff in the in the game. And I also did find a reference to the um, the creators of um, Pokemon Septo Conquest, and I might show that later on in the playthrough. If I get that far. Oh, look, Sweet Tone's evolving into a war turtle. The teenage Pokemon. <laughs> Yeah, I actually did see that on Machinima. It was pretty funny. And, you know, it's the same thing. Um, one thing I actually do did like about the ROM hack is the... What was it called? Like... It's... Well, it's creative. That's what I can say. It's just really creative. The only annoying thing I can see is... Well, yeah, the only thing I can see is the glitches might get annoying and might get in the way of the gameplay. And hopefully I don't run into an infinite glitch like I did with the game crashing before. Because that was just horrible. Then, uh, for the rest of the playthrough, I'm actually just going to skip battles and skip random encounters. Because, unless it's probably like an interesting fight, if it's an interesting fight, then I guess I'll go ahead with it, but actually wanted to see if they changed anything or if they left him you know they could have been creative uh, but overall you know the new team evil team the jokes the this cave was actually a little bit challenging I did a little bit of exploring beforehand and I actually had to it took me a while to actually find the exit to this place and I'm gonna do a little sneak by and grab this potion, which is probably going to help me out later on. See, I could just easily stealth my way. Pass, aside from all the random encounters. Uh, some of the items are in the same place. Uh, they did add a couple of new items to the cave. Um, and I did actually find one problem with the cave. You can't go back into the cave. Now, when you exit, the, when I exit the cave, like near the end of the video, Spoiler alert, then you guys will see that I can't go back in the way I came. So, again, good, decent ROM hacking, just little issues. So, most likely when I get fly, if I get fly, then I'm going to have to find that. And then I'm going to try and explore the cave from top to bottom and get all the new secrets and stuff. Trying not to run because all these random encounters. Uh, I don't know if that was there before in the original Fire Red, but yeah just helpful hint and um, this is where it gets weird so I took a reverse entrance and I ended up back here with the fossils now for those of you guys who know if you do it in fire red leaf green or red and blue and yellow you'll be able to get these fossils now you know I can talk to her and everything and before that I'm actually supposed to come from there and yeah I just end up fighting her so, glitch, yes, does it really hinder the gameplay? No, it's just kind of funny the fact that I just took fossils and now you want to fight me. 
uh, use of entrances might have been a factor in that. And I skipped the battle because it really got drawn out. Drowsy using uh, hypnosis and all that stuff. Didn't want to bore you guys. But most of this video is going to be centered on exiting the cave. And I did find eight moonstones. That was actually really nice of them. I don't think I need that many, so I'll probably end up selling some of them at some point. And uh, we're about to get um, to the exit soon. So what you have to do is either you take the long way, and you have to go down here. And right about here, over here, that one, this is the exit. With the, it's supposed to be Team Rocket, and I think there's like a hidden item, or... There used to be like a rock there, I remember. Actually, the entire point, um, sorry if I really cut this video short, but I just really wanted to get out of this cave. It was boring in here. Uh, I'm sorry. Not for the, for the hackers. The hackers actually made the cave a little bit confusing, and I didn't really want to just stay in a place where you just see all brown all the time. And I stand corrected. Well, that's the end of Mount Genji. We're out here. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Uh, if you have not subscribed yet, please go ahead and do so to get updates on my videos and stuff. If you like the video, go ahead and press that like button if you want to. Uh, stay tuned for more Septo Conquest. I'm Oblivion Guy, and I'll catch you guys later.